Discover the 14 everyday things that can hurt your cat's feelings in our latest video. More importantly, we'll show you how to turn things around. Learn the loving tweaks you can make to ensure your cat feels cherished and content. Tune in to transform your approach and deepen the bond with your beloved feline. One, acknowledging preferred petting zones. Avoiding sensitive areas. Understanding and respecting your cat's individual preferences for touch is crucial for building a strong and positive relationship between you and your pet. Each cat is unique and may have different areas they enjoy being touched, as well as those that might be unpleasant or even stressful for them. Here are some tips on how to recognize your cat's preferred petting zones and avoid those that might cause discomfort. Get to know your cat by spending time observing how they react to various forms of touch. Some cats love being scratched behind the ears, under the chin, or along the back, while others may dislike being touched in specific areas, such as the belly, tail, or paws. Start with safe areas. Generally, the head, behind the ears, and under the chin are safe zones for petting that are often enjoyable for cats and can help build trust. Watch for body language. Cats communicate their feelings through body language. If your cat becomes restless, swishes their tail, withdraws, or emits warning sounds, it indicates you're touching them in a way they dislike. In such cases, stop immediately and give your cat some space. Two, greeting upon returning home. The moment you return home, dedicating even a short time to greet your cat can significantly impact their emotional well-being. Cats, like humans, value attention and acceptance from their caregivers. A simple gesture, such as gentle stroking, calling the cat by name, or spending a moment to play together can strengthen the bond and sense of belonging for the pet in the home. These actions signal to the cat that they are an important part of the family and that their presence is noticed and valued. Regularly dedicating attention to your cat at these critical moments helps build trust and a sense of security, reducing the likelihood of behaviors stemming from anxiety or stress. Three, avoid punishing the cat, guide their behavior through positive reinforcement. Cats are intelligent beings that can learn from the consequences of their actions. However, methods of punishment for undesired behavior, such as yelling or physical reprimand, are not only ineffective, but can also damage the relationship between you and your cat, creating an atmosphere of fear and distrust. Instead, experts recommend using positive reinforcement techniques, focusing on rewarding the cat for good behavior to help them understand what is expected of them Always reward your cat immediately after the desired behavior to help them associate their action with the reward. You can use treats, stroking, or praise, depending on what your cat enjoys most. Use a clicker for training. A clicker is a small device that makes a sound, click, which can be used to mark the exact moment when the cat performs the desired behavior. After clicking, you immediately reward the cat, aiding in learning by precisely indicating the desired action. Ignore unwanted behavior. Instead of reacting to unwanted behavior, try to ignore it. Cats often exhibit undesirable behaviors in search of attention, and ignoring such behavior can discourage it. However, remember not to ignore your cat's needs, which might be behind certain behaviors. Four, access to fresh air and views outside. Cats are natural observers who take pleasure and comfort from safely watching the world outside. Access to a window with a view of the surroundings, whether it's a street, garden, or just a tree, is an important source of mental stimulation for a cat. This can be facilitated by installing a shelf or special observation spot by the window, allowing them to spend time safely watching birds, people, and other animals. A balcony secured with netting offers cats even greater exploration and fresh air opportunities while ensuring safety from falls. Five, regular interaction and avoidance of isolation. Though cats are often regarded as loners, in reality, they require interaction with humans and other animals to develop emotionally. Regular playtime with your cat, using toys that mimic hunting, not only satisfies their hunting instinct, but also strengthens the bond between the cat and its caregiver. Affection, such as gentle petting or caressing in the cat's preferred spots, contributes to reducing stress levels in both the animal and the human. 
Joint play sessions should be regular to prevent depression and anxiety that may arise in cats living in isolation. Six, effective communication. Cats communicate with us in many different ways, including through meowing, purring, bringing toys, or rubbing against our legs. Each of these gestures is an attempt to connect and should be appropriately appreciated by the caregiver. Ignoring these attempts at communication can lead to feelings of rejection and weaken the bond between the cat and the human. Understanding and responding to these messages, whether through verbal response, petting, or dedicating time for shared activities, is key to building a deep and lasting relationship with your cat. This ensures the cat feels understood and valued in its caregiver's life, contributing to its sense of security and belonging. Seven, maintaining calm and avoiding loud noises. Cats are extremely sensitive to sounds, with their hearing being much more developed than that of humans. Loud noises, such as shouting, loud music, noises from the television, or household appliances, can be a source of stress and anxiety for them. In a home environment, it's important to strive to maintain a calm and quiet atmosphere that allows the cat to feel safe. This means, for example, lowering the volume of playing devices, avoiding sudden and loud emotional reactions, and using soft sounds that can soothe the animal, such as gentle music or the sound of nature. Introducing routine, calm sounds into the home environment can help reduce stress levels in the cat and make it more relaxed and content with its living situation. Eight, providing an appropriate diet. The diet of a cat should be tailored not only to its age, weight, and health status, but also to the specific nutritional needs characteristic of the species. Cats, being predators, require a high content of animal protein in their diet, which is crucial for their health and vitality. Choosing high-quality food that contains essential nutrients, vitamins, and minerals is the foundation of a healthy lifestyle for a cat. Feeding the cat foods tailored to its individual needs, such as specialized foods for kittens, seniors, overweight cats, or those with health issues, for example, food for cats with kidney diseases, can prevent many health problems and contribute to a long, happy life. Regular consultations with a veterinarian can help establish the best nutritional plan for your cat. Nine, respecting the hunting instinct. Cats are naturally predators and their need to hunt is deeply ingrained in their DNA. Satisfying this instinct in a safe home environment is possible by providing appropriate toys that mimic hunting behaviors. Catch and release toys, interactive mice, feathers on a string, or even simple laser pointers, with the caveat that play ends with catching something tangible to avoid frustration, can provide the necessary stimulation for a cat. Regular play sessions that mimic hunting not only satisfy a cat's natural instincts, but also contribute to its physical and emotional well-being, helping to prevent behaviors resulting from boredom or frustration. 10. Respecting the cat's space. Every cat values having its own, safe space where it can rest, observe its surroundings, or simply enjoy a moment of solitude. It's important for caregivers to respect these personal spaces, not forcing the cat to leave them unless absolutely necessary. Tailoring the home to the cat's needs by providing access to comfortable hiding spots, shelves, or high places allows for building trust and reinforces the animal's sense of security. Remember, any intrusion into these sacred spaces should be done with consideration and respect for the cat's needs. 11. Avoiding forced socialization. Socialization is a key element in the development of every cat, but it's important that it occurs at a pace comfortable for them. Forcing a cat into interactions with other household pets, people, or new situations can lead to stress, anxiety, and aversion. Allowing the cat to explore new social relationships at its own pace, encouraging but not forcing interaction, is a much healthier approach. Introducing new family members or animals should be done gradually, with the possibility for the cat to withdraw to a known and safe space, providing it with a sense of control over the situation and minimizing negative emotions. 12. Access to scratching posts. Providing cats with scratching posts in various locations around the home is important not only for maintaining their claws in good condition, but also fulfills their instinctual need to mark territory through scratching. Scratching posts can come in various forms, from vertical posts to horizontal mats, to more complex structures that allow climbing and exploration. 
Regularly sharpening claws on a scratching post helps prevent their overgrowth and deformation, which can lead to health issues. Placing scratching posts in strategic locations, such as near resting places or in areas of high household activity, encourages cats to use them, minimizing the risk of damage to furniture and other home items. 13. Avoiding changes in routine. Cats feel most comfortable in a stable and predictable environment, so it's important to maintain consistency in their daily schedule. This includes not only feeding and playtime, but also rest times and other daily activities. Sudden changes, such as rearranging furniture, changing feeding times, or introducing new family members, can cause stress and anxiety in cats. To minimize stress associated with changes, introduce them gradually and give the cat time to adapt, providing additional support and attention during the transition period. Maintaining a routine gives cats a sense of security and helps them cope better with changes in their environment. 14. Diversifying interactive toys. Regularly providing new and varied toys can significantly enrich a cat's living environment, stimulating its mind and encouraging physical activity. Interactive toys, such as those that respond to touch, vibrating toys, laser pointers, or intelligent puzzles with treats, engage a cat's senses and encourage thinking and problem solving. Offering a variety of play forms helps prevent boredom and keeps cats in good physical and mental condition. It's important to remember to rotate toys regularly to maintain the cat's interest and stimulate continuous activity.